G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Anyone by Justin Bieber. Now I'll teach you two different ways of playing this song, a nice and easy finger picked version and also a nice and easy strummed version. Now if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve any guitar in general, then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Let's start with the verse, and I'm gonna teach you two different ways of playing it. I'm gonna start with an easy strummed version, and then I'll show you how to finger pick it if you wanna strip it back a little bit. So let's start with the easy strummed version, and there's three lines of chords here. We're gonna start with the D chord, then we go to a G, then a D slash F sharp. So from the G chord, just to take your index and middle finger and put them on the second frets of the sixth and third strings. And we'll strum up till the second string. So that's D slash F sharp, and then we have an A chord. So that's it for the first line of chords, which is repeated through twice. For the second line of chords, it's almost identical, except we're replacing the D chord with a B minor seven. So to play that, index and middle finger will go on the second frets of the fifth and third strings and your ring finger will be on the third fret of the second string. And we're strumming from the fifth string onwards. So that's our B minor seven, replacing the D for the second line of chords. And then the third line of chords is exactly the same as the first line of chords. Now we're gonna apply a really simple strumming pattern to each chord, which sounds like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. You're gonna play that once for each chord and the verse simply sounds like this. So that's it for the easy strummed version. Now, if you want to finger pick it for a more laid back feel, this is how we're going to do it. For our finger picking basics, your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth and fourth strings and your index, middle and ring finger will take care of the third, second and first strings respectively. They ideally shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they've been assigned to. So our chord shapes are going to remain the exact same. All we're doing is just applying a finger picking pattern to it. So we have three lines of tab here. We start with a D chord. Our finger picking pattern consists of seven notes. So for our first four notes, we start with the bass note of whatever chord we're playing. So in this instance, the D chord, it's the fourth string. Then we go third string, fourth string, and second string. And we hold out that second string for one beat. So the first four plucks. And then we end with three plucks, the third string, fourth string, and third string. So for this D chord, one, And we're gonna apply that finger picking pattern to every chord that I showed you in the easy strummed version. So we go to a G and our bass note here is the sixth string, so. Then we play the exact same thing with the D slash F sharp. And then we go to our A where our bass note is the fifth string. So the first line of tab in total. Now the second line of tab is almost identical except for our first bar we play the B minor seven instead of a D for one picking pattern. And for this B minor seven, the bass note is the fifth string. So the second line of tab. And the third line of tab is identical to the first line of tab. So in total, the verse finger picked will sound like this.
So next we get to the chorus. And again, first off, I'm gonna show you the easy strummed way of playing it, and then I'll teach you how to finger pick it afterwards. So for our chorus, we just have one line of chords here. We have our D slash F sharp, a G, a D, and then A twice. Now for our first three chords, it's actually contained in one long strumming pattern that sounds like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Now the point at which we'll change from the D slash F sharp to the G to the D are on the two highlighted up strums in the strumming pattern. So these chord changes occur on upbeats or up strums. And that will sound like this. And then when we go to our A, we're just going to return to that simple strumming pattern that we had in the verse. So the chorus strummed in total. So now I'll show you how to finger pick it. We're gonna be using the exact same chords as the strummed version. So we start with our D slash F sharp. Now there's six plucks here for this D slash F sharp. So for our first four plucks, it's bass note, third, fourth, and second. We hold that out for a little bit. And then two more plucks, the third and fourth string. So one, two, and three, and four. On the end beat after the four, we're then gonna quickly change to our G chord hit the bass note, hold that out for one beat, and then on the end beat after the one and two beat, we hit the third and second strings. So, and one and two. Then on the end beat after the two, we switch to our D chord and we're gonna hit the bass note, which is the open fourth string. Hold that out for one beat, and then three more plucks here, the third, second, and third strings. So in total for the first two bars, And then we go to our A chord, and we're gonna play this with the regular picking pattern that we had in the verse twice. So in total, the finger picked chorus sounds like this. And you just repeat that again and again for the chorus. The final thing to learn is the bridge and there's just two lines of chords here. And the strumming pattern changes a little bit. It's just all down strums eight times. And as you strum this, you'll slowly just build up the intensity. So we start with the D chord and then D sus two. So just lift your middle finger and then D sus four. So put your pinky finger on the third fret of the first string and then back to a regular D. For our second line of chords, it's B minus seven for two strumming patterns and then A for two strumming patterns. So the bridge simply sounds like this. And those are all the parts you need to learn for this song. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and in the first half of the playthrough, I'll be doing the finger picking and in the second half of the video, I'll be doing strumming. You don't necessarily need to do both. You could just do one or the other or a mix and match of the two methods. It's completely up to you. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to to practice, play along to and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzerodihero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.